Okay, so next let's look at how to solve uh, this kind of thing here. So we've got three equations. We've got uh, well, we've got x, y, and z, and we've also got an a as well. Uh, for each of these equations, define the which define a plane. Show that uh, so each of the equations define a plane. Show that for any value of a, planes do not intersect at a unique point. Okay, the easiest way to do this kind of question is uh, Gaussian elimination. Um, so the first thing that we do is we actually write it in terms of uh, a matrix. So we've got 1, 3, A minus 1, 1, 2, 2, A minus 2, 1, and 3, 1, A minus 3, and B. So this is uh, the matrix that we've got. Um, then the general idea of Gaussian elimination is that we try and get these two here to become zero. So that's our first step, make this zero, make this zero. And then once we've done that, we then try and get this one here to be zero as well. Because that's, that's a method that we're going to use. Uh, we can label this as one, and this is two, and this is three here. Okay, so we can keep the top row the same, so 1, 3, a minus 1, and 1, so that's my equation 1. Um, that's the equation 1 there. This one here, I can do, I do equation 2, take away 2 times equation 1, so this equation here, take away 2 lots of this equation here, that will give me uh, 0 minus 4 minus a and minus 1. So there we go, you can see that I've got the 0 here that I wanted. And then if I do in the last one, equation 3, take away 3 times equation 1, and this is going to give me 0 minus 8 minus 2a and b minus 3. Okay, so this is my new matrix that I've got. And as you can see, I've got zero here and a zero here. And again, just to make this slightly easier for ourselves, let's now label this as equation four, and let's label this one as equation five. So the next step, well, I've got the first two lines that I wanted, so I'll keep that as one, three, a minus one and one, and zero, minus four, minus a, and minus one. And then in the last row, well if I do equation 5, take away 2 times equation 4, that will give me, well I'll get a 0 here, I'll end up with a 0 here, I end up with 0 here, and I end up with b minus 1 here. Okay, and this immediately shows that we're not going to have any unique solution here. If we have all zeros on this bottom here, there cannot be a unique solution. So there we go, we, we've showed, we've shown that there's no unique solution. Um, and for part B, well, we get four marks for this, which is incredibly generous, Oops. Uh, very, very generous. So find the value of B for which the intersection of the planes is a straight line. Um, we notice here if B if b is equal to 1, then this equation here is going to be consistent. We'll end up with uh, 0x plus 0y plus 0z um, and will equal to 0 here. So basically 0 equals 0. Uh, if we have any other value for b here, for example b is 2, then we'd end up with 0 equals well, 2 take away 1, which is 1. So 0 equals 1. We'd end up with something that was inconsistent. So there's obviously no solution unless we have b equals 1. And when b equals 1, well, what actually happens? We, we end up with only two equations left. This is all zeros. So we end up with two equations, but we've still got three unknowns. So if we've got two equations and three unknowns, uh, we'll have an intersection as a line rather than a straight, uh, rather than a point. So that's it. So b equals 1 is my solution.